Uh, I think in the second half, we picked it up and played the way we wanted to. You know, in the first half, we kind of started slow. Um, we never want to allow 70 points in the first half. Um, but I think in the second half, defense was, was what changed the game for us. When Pop calls a timeout 16 seconds in, which might be an NBA record, what, what, are you, uh, what, what message is he trying to convey at that point? Man, that, that we got to start early. You know, it all starts with the first play. You know, and it's kind of, that kind of set the tone for us. And I think that's what he was trying to do is, you know, kind of set that tone to um, show how serious he was about the first play and beginning of games. Um, and we just made a, a dumb mistake to start the game off. So I think that's exactly what it did. Is it kind of a message that every possession for 48 minutes is an important possession? Absolutely. You know, I mean, he, he shows that with the end of games. You know, it might be the last play of the game. We're up by 15, and he's yelling. So, um, you know, I think he takes every possession seriously, as should we. How has uh, Davis's game grown maybe beyond the three-point line, his ability to put the basketball on the floor and, and do some things as well? Yeah, no, Dobbs, um, you know, I think he found me in the corner one time. Uh, you know, he's getting to the hoop. Finishing, I think he had a big finish today. Uh, you know, he's growing just like all of us, and I think uh, you know he's added a lot of things to his game. Defensively, he's been a lot, a lot better, and he's been good defensively. Um, you know, so I expect him to just keep growing. As a shooter like Dallas, when you miss a couple of games, do you sometimes wonder if you're going to be a little rusty? If you're, gonna... he obviously wasn't, but is it something you don't know until you get on the court? Yeah, I think I think it's something that that um, once you touch the court, you kind of figure out, but. Uh, you know, with 82 games, yeah. two days off isn't really going to change much, I don't think. So, and his mindset is, you know, they're going up either way. So, you know, I expected him to have a good night. How does he change that second unit when he's out there? Just the, kind of the geometry of the court. Man, he's. I mean, he's shooting the best percentage in the NBA right now. So, um, you know, he's number one. So obviously, it's. Um, Opens the court for everybody else, for you know, and it gets more shots for guys like Belly and Patty, and it makes it easier for everybody, whoever's on the court with him. Do you think it's going to be a shame if he's not in the three point contest? I think he deserves it. I mean, to be the number one percentage wise, is he's, I think, he's shooting like 48 point something, mm -hmm. 48.6 or something. That's ridiculous. So we'll see. Would it be a shame if he gets sort of overlooked for maybe a, more of a star name? Is that? I mean, it happens, but I don't know. We'll see. I, I think I think he deserves it in my eyes. But can you talk about Patty's role a little bit? Five hundred games now with the Spurs. How has he uh, affected the team's like leadership role? Oh man, Patty's the the verbal leader. You know, he does it with his how he plays out there. You know, he kind of he's the glue guy. I'd say he keeps us all together. Um, keeps us keeps us on the right path. Um, it's kind of like the coach on the floor. So.